Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Feel Let's to Learn. This is Alzi, and well, last episode we started colonizing our fourth uh, system. It's still on the way. We also met our third uh, third neighbor, who I just noticed is starting to call me over here. And so is uh, so is these guys. Interesting. System survey complete. Interesting indeed. I have had to tweak my video settings just slightly. Uh, hopefully you guys notice a slight improvement of quality. If not, let me know. Um, improvement of quality, cost of... The, the negative being of that is it takes longer for the videos to upload to YouTube. But that's more of a pain point on my end. <laughs> the audio issue with my mic, which Colin, I may have mentioned in one of my previous episodes, found. I have kind of determined to be the actual mic itself, and unfortunately I don't have the money to buy a new mic at this time, so I'm just going to have to unfortunately deal with it. You guys let me know if it becomes too big of an issue, because I know that sometimes it gets kind of staticky or muffled, if you will. Almost, uh, almost like, you know, a bad connection on a cell phone. I, 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 that's what I kind of compare it to. It's kind of what it sounds like every once in a while. And it's very intermittent. It's, like a, it's not constant. It just randomly happens from time to time. But everything that's between the mic and the computer has been kind of replaced. Different cable, different, uh, different sound card, different everything. So it has to be the mic by that rate. Alrighty. Colony's been established. Cool. Well, let's see what we can do. <laughs> In other words, failure. If they didn't find anything at all on that fucking planet. Alright, you guys just build some mines. Actually. Probably work on clearing those two areas out just so I can finally get rid of all the all the tile blockers. Construction and complete. I'm still lacking one more. Almost ready to create the capital. All right, construction ship, you're ready to go. You finished building over there. Complete. I don't think anything got added to that system that I can actually... Well, we'll build more mining stations over there, that way. None of these other ones are actually in my borders yet. Of course, that colony still... Even though it's been built, it's Evading finished, it's still fleet. upgrading. And what the hell is going on? Pirates! Great! They probably have a pirate station nearby at this point. Uh, project complete. Oh yes, that's finally the uh, the one science project that was waiting for like you know for like five whole fucking days or not five days. It was waiting for a level five scientist. <laughs> finally got it. Space science ship is bored. Send them to upgrade, and we'll kind of go from there. Figure out the background noise if you hear any. I 
just had to move my mic over slightly, and uh, my AC is running behind me. some more destroyers another corvette or two no one point in the game the corvettes were apparently the only ship that was worthwhile building all the bigger ones just made themselves bigger targets paradox hadn't actually uh, developed the uh, battle system or the uh, combat AI to be smart enough to know for targeting and whatnot so ships would uh, basically they would target the bigger ships war or corvettes would... anyways long story short the way they had the battle mechanics set up in game they made corvettes uh, basically the only ship that was worth building so people would just have fleets entirely made up of corvettes I'm not sure if they fixed that or not I think it's still kind of a concern but not anywhere near as bad Situation log updated. I always try to build some variety. I don't want to stick to the same ship. Alien specimens. Okay, so where's that one science ship? When he's done being bored. Construction complete. Ah, uh, he's waiting for the new ships to finish building before he can upgrade. You got stuck in queue. Tile blocker cleared. I should probably build myself a new starport. So let's. I don't have the minerals for it just yet. All right. Well, once I do, I'll, uh... I'll build another starport down here. My new colony. Let's send him on a wild goose chase, literally, to go pick up all the uh, alien specimens that they want me to collect. Which is basically a bunch of aliens, exactly, as it sounds, aliens. And I have no way to reach that system. Well, that's interesting. Need to develop a better warp drive to get over there, because that's too far away. System you can't jump from, from here to here. Imagine had you had started in that home world, and you couldn't get out. I'm sure, actually, if you had started that way, but had the um, hyper the hyper lanes, you'd probably be able to jump from here to here. But still, it's kind of a all right. What do we need more? Physics, yes. Yeah, so we'll build here first. I don't think I got any of the other... Research oh, I did! I got all the other science labs. Uh, tier 1s. Perfect! I'm gonna give this one some stuff. Alright. Shut it down. Situation log updated. I always shut this th this hallucinogen. I always go in and remove it whenever I see it. I don't know what happens when you leave it on. I never ever tried. Construction complete. I figured there must be some negative consequence of leaving it. So they declared each other. These two declare each other as rivals. So what happens when uh, countries or empires declare each other as rivals? Basically, they uh, gain a small influence boost for being rivaled, especially if they're local. 
Um, and their rep, their uh, trust or relationship with one another will actually decrease over time, and continually to decrease. System survey. Complete. Basically, claim basically just comes right out and says, "Okay, yeah, you're my enemy," and uh, eventually that'll probably lead to war. All right, let's build myself a frontier outpost here so I can connect this. Where would be the best spot? Jersey, winter. There's one over here. Hmm. Building Terzi. That'll be maybe not a good idea. My influence ain't that high. Uh, we'll see. Construction complete. You, Research where are you complete. at? You just finish surveying stuff? Alright, we'll send you back. Tile blocker. Hey! Give me the jungle tile blocker remover. Cool. I'm all gonna use siphons. Siphons are always decent to have. And disruptors. Alright, so since they gave me the jungle remover, I can now finally clear that tile blocker, which gives me access to the Batharian stones. Finally. I can also upgrade these science labs. If I had enough minerals. to play the waiting game. Special project complete. kind of a pain in the ass to go around the galaxy and find those random critters. It does have some interesting uh, event text though for like the description of some of the creatures and whatnot. The devs are pretty creative when it came to uh, making up some stuff. Alright, yeah! Build Bertharian power plant. Is it Bertharian? Yeah. Upgrade you! This planet has extra engineering output. That's why. Construction. Complete. So much engineering. Ah. So, <laughs> I had said at one point that there is different traits that your leaders can get that are good and bad. Arrested Development is probably one of the worst ones that you can get. Because Arrested Development, basically, what that does actually makes it so that they cannot gain any further experience. So they're pretty much capped out. Anomaly found. He's already at, uh, this governor's level complete. four or skill four, I guess already. So I'm not too worried about it. The age 63 will probably die before they learn anything else. I cleared the hallucinogen. Another anomaly to research. But yeah, rest of development is probably one of the worst ones you can get, especially if you get it early on in that leader's life. <coughs> have one strategic resource, really more. <coughs> I 
situation log updated. That is an interesting one. So a lot of the uh, researches and whatnot that you can get, or researches, a lot of the um, a lot of the projects that you can get. What's going on here? Ships upgraded. Yeah, so a lot of the anomalies or research projects like this that you can get, they, uh... They're often timed, and you, so you only have a set amount of time to, uh, to actually do it. Before the event is lost. And then you can't do it. Alright! The Frontier Outpost connected the Empire. It's all within my borders here. Got a whole bunch of new space. Still doing alright for influence. So let's get Special to building. Complete. Another one of the critters. Let's get to building research stations and mining stations. Yeah, this will provide a nice little boon here. Six minerals for that one, nine in engineering research. Ah, that one's in my borders too now. That one's not. <laughs> and then I overwent my naval capacity. When you actually go over it, as it says here, it gives you plus a certain increase in maintenance cost, basically, for your ships. Since I'm one over, it gave me plus three percent. But I'm pretty sure that stacks. So if I was to go say five over, it'd probably be a lot more. And that's probably contributing to the now negative energy that I'm having. So that problem will probably go away soon once the Batharian stone is, uh, yeah, there yeah, I'll just move the population over. Problem solved, look at that, I'm getting 16 energy from one car. Construction complete. That's a good deal right there. <laughs> Clear that one out. We'll upgrade the last engineering on that planet. Take a look Special at this Special project one. complete. Perfect. Build ourselves another Bertharian on this one. I can't yet, can I? This one's still missing. Yeah, Research I need to upgrade complete. the... Uh, need to upgrade this first, which means I need minerals. Alright, two researchers then. Yes, Psy Warriors. I'm definitely going to go with that, since that's... Uh, a rare tech, plus it's also relevant since I'm playing uh, now. I guess I'm now playing some fanatic spiritualist. And we'll go building speeds. I guess that'll be alright. And this one's going to be physics lab. It's good for now. This one's still special going. project complete. This one's still going. Another one of the critters. And again, you guys can pause if you want to read this stuff. Um, if you want me to read it out, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, make an effort to read them. All right.
right. Let's see. One of the things I forgot to do earlier was to finish building my army. Because I only have two soldiers. Is it really enough to do anything with? Mind you, I'm probably not going to be invading anyone anytime soon. But it's always good to have just in case. So I might as well train some soldiers up. Which reminds me, I did not train any of my other two colonies. I don't have the minerals to do it just yet. I'll hold off for a few minutes. Ships upgraded. Construction complete. Let's see, that was uh, the uh, lab upgrade. I wish I could probably build another lab, or I could build one of these. Yeah, I'll build the temple. Actually, no. Let's put the temple over here. I have enough uh, engineering research. Well, it doesn't hurt to have more engineering research, I will admit. Construction complete. Let's try to get some more unity. Awesome! Give me an influence boost for completing the mandate. Science ship, you're bored. Let's send you out to survey some more worlds. I'll send him up in this general direction. Somehow or another, I know that there is somebody here, but I've never actually met them. That's kinda interesting. Oh, okay. I'll send him up that way anyways. And you, let's send you... I'm actually gonna send you over this way, so that way I can see what's... Kinda what's beyond in that direction, since I don't know yet. I have yet to meet anyone above me. Or further down or around. I haven't seen anything on the other side of the galaxy yet. Which I guess wouldn't really matter so much early on. Like, you don't really necessarily care what they're doing. Try to keep an eye on your closer neighbors first. But later on, they'll probably become a concern. Depending. Let's see what happens. Aha! Do another tradition! Alright. Sure, let's do that. Construction complete. Alright, I have enough min minerals. Let's build ourselves a second spaceport. And hire some defensive troops. Research complete. Let's go for the advanced spaceport. Energy deficit again. Apparently a small food deficit as well. Interesting. Well, I have enough stockpile, but it should last me for a little while before I... I'll probably have to build a farm somewhere. System survey complete. Any place have a food bonus that I can put a farm on? Yeah, right here. Construction complete. And you, you need some defensive armies as well.
Construction ship is now bored. Three hundred and sixty minerals for research stations? So that's wow, that's spread out across like three different spots. Four different spots. Well research complete. Construction complete. Let's have him go over here first. Minerals. And research. Now the research pro done. Research alternatives. That's always useful. Gives you more options to choose from. Let's see, Situation I'm using lasers updated. as my primary weapon, so... Blue lasers would be a good upgrade. New aliens! Let's take a look who those guys are. One of the things I may not have mentioned, uh, anytime you actually do one of these... One of these special projects that actually take, or I have to click in and say research. Those actually take the time out of that particular scientist's... You know, it takes their time because they have to shift focus and do that. So, while I'm researching that, since it costs society research for this one, most of them tend to, the society research guy, he's not researching the psionic theory that I had queued earlier. He's taking a break, as it says here, busy with special project. So he's working on that instead. That's another one of those critters. Yep. Alright. Let's take Special a look and see how complete. things are going. Ah, uh, we've met another empire. Space monkeys. These guys probably aren't going to like me just for the simple fact that they're fanatic materialists and I'm fanatic spiritualist. Although they are xenophiles, so that's an interesting trade-off. We'll see how things go. <laughs> Let's see, where are they located? Oh, way over here. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Yeah, they already don't care for me. See, minus 40 because I'm spiritualist. Probably steal their star charts. Sensor link. I know they won't go for yeah, research agreements. Pretty much impossible. Why not? Let's go full bore. Situation log updated. Well, that uh, filled in a little bit of the uh, of the map. <laughs> research, research. It's probably these two guys. There's uh, question marks here. Belong to unknown System aliens. Complete. And there must be a, yeah. There's another one here. Special project complete. The Nanticon Hive! Great, a hive mind! So, yeah, this, uh. That's interesting. Should I say mandate? Authocratic. Pa fanatic pacifist? That's interesting. So hive minds, they play the game a little differently. They don't really, uh, as far as I know, I don't think they actually can actually do too too much as far as trade deals. Let's not forget that. Well, I think you can a little bit. Right, might as well just try to befriend everybody for now and then see see where that gets me. Probably in a heap of trouble. 
Anomaly found. Okay. Is it really worth that many minerals for me to? No, it's not. Okay. Cancel. Never mind. I bought the one guy off, and he gave me not uh, gave me a good chunk of maps, so I don't really need to buy more maps. Interesting. These guys are kind of in between. System survey. Complete. Neither of those guys like me. Yeah, I didn't figure. These guys, because they're authoritarians, and I'm egalitarian. Those guys, because they're materialists. Yeah, these guys are neutral because they're high mind. High mind just eats everybody. So. Construction complete. Science, have your work now. You got nothing else to do. Come on here. Survey those guys, because apparently those guys aren't even the same uh, the same ones yet. Special project complete. And that's another one of the critters. Excellent. Go do some more research stations. That's not quite in my system. Yet. Oh yeah, oh, no borders yet. This one is. Go up there and mine. Mine research. Alrighty. Incoming transmission. Oh, what do they want? Sure. Defensive pack. Basically, defensive pack means that if someone declares war on me, they'll also they'll go to war to help me out, and System vice versa. If someone declares war on them, I'll have to help them. Out. Updated. And more new aliens. Yeah, meeting a bunch of new people. That's probably these guys down here, if I had to guess. Alright, let's upgrade that, finally. Wasting more time. Special project complete. That time worker. Kingdom of Yonderim? Who are these guys? <laughs> Authoritarian fanatic spiritualist! They're probably gonna like me because I'm spiritualist, but they're not gonna like me because I'm a Yonderim. Interesting. Not sure how those guys are gonna pan out. And they're... They're way down here. Interesting, they kind of spread out. wonder if they're slowly being eaten by the hive. Allied to rivals. Interesting. Rivals with one of the guys I already met. A lot more players on the galactic stage have been revealed. <laughs> Alright guys. It's probably going to be it for this episode. Ah, actually finished my spaceport. I can get that upgraded. Synchronized defenses. Anomaly found. Another anomaly. Research that. System survey complete. And one of the science ships is bored. Yes, because I sent him down here. Might as well send him around to survey everything. I wonder if there's anyone else down here in this bottom corner. Situation log squeezing update. Squeezing in people and in interesting. They've been squeezing empires in in interesting spots, so it's. I wouldn't necessarily be surprised. Interesting. More aliens research. 
right? Maybe it won't be it for the episode. <laughs> you guys probably aren't too, uh, wouldn't be too upset if it lasted for a while. That's all four. So there's a max cap of how many armies you can have, which I think uh, references yeah the tile size or the planet size itself. Um, defensive armies they stay on the planet to defend it. Uh, the assault armies Special you can actually take complete. those. You can actually take them into space on a transport fleet that is the transport fleet's very not well defended, so they uh, they can get blown up pretty easily in a fight. But basically, you use them in a, when you invade um, to take over or gain control of planets that don't belong to you during a war. And we have met another empire. Fanatic Mat... Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's probably... Where are they located? Not up there. Down there! Interesting. Yay? Question mark? Ships upgraded. The future of this galaxy looks like it's going to be in blood and iron. System survey complete. Alright guys. That'll be it for this episode for real this time. <laughs> I'll catch you all in the next one. LZ signing out. Like and subscribe. All that fun stuff.